Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Catford and Cyphers Cricket Club. I'm also delighted to welcome our honoured guest, Mr. Derek Underwood, um, former president of the MCC and an absolute cricket legend that I'm sure that you're all aware of. And also to our local MP, the Honourable Mr. Jim Dowd. Great. I'd like to hand over to Derek just to say a few words before I finish off the rest of the speech. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. Dowd, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can I, I just say what a, a pleasure it is for me to be here today because uh, I'm associated with the company that uh, put in the pitches here, which I, I hope, which I hope is going to make a lot of these youngsters or help these youngsters to gain a great interest in cricket and become fine cricketers um, in the future. It may interest you to know that um, I'm not quite sure why I've been invited here today because I did hold the record for scoring most ducks in, um, in Test cricket and for England. I, had, I scored 16 ducks, 16 ducks, 16 times I was out for naught. And then somebody came along 12, 15 years later and scored more ducks than myself. Hooray! Did you know who that was? Who got, scored 17 ducks for England? Mike Atherton. Yeah. <laughs> now there was a story. I thought, should I drop him a line and congratulate him? But I thought, perhaps not, but it wouldn't go down very well. But I learned my cricket very much uh, in, in the local area here. I was a, a member of Beckenham Cricket Club and in fact played against Cyphers on several occasions on, on their ground. And um, so I came up very much through the schools of this area and uh, through coaching in this area. And uh, I was very lucky to have the career that I did playing in sort of 86 test matches and touring the world regularly, which perhaps one day one of these youngsters will be doing the same and playing perhaps for Kent or playing for England. But um, I'll leave it there before we all get soaked and, um, and say to you thank you very much for coming tonight, supporting the event. May you gain lots of fun and pleasure out of the nets. And every time you go in those nets, try and think of something specific to practice. If you can think of something to practice, be it a certain shot you, you got out to in a, a match before or you're not bowling very well and you want to bowl off stump and just outside or whatever, it's always helpful if you've got a purpose when you go into a net. So on that note, which is very important, um, on that note, can I just wish um, Catherine and Cyphers Cricket Club all the success, may they get lots of fun out of the facility here and uh, wish you every success in the future. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yay. Thank you very much. So for me tonight represents one of the right? <laughs> Into the Okay. Lights, yeah. Um, so for me tonight represents one of the single most important events in the club's 121 year history. The opening of this net facility and the prospects of what this could lead to, in my opinion, are truly awesome. This facility represents the huge amount of work which has been put in by many people and I will come to recognise and thank the individuals in due course. But just for a second, I want to reflect on what potentially lies ahead for this cricket club. Clearly getting us to the position we are in tonight has taken hard work and commitment, but in my view, it actually gives us an insight into the harder work that is to come. If we truly want to be one of the very best clubs in this area, and to maximise our ECB club mark status, we need to undertake more of these projects and not only use these new facilities to continue to attract new members but also to retain them. In terms of thanks, I think we need to go back a few years to when this club was really down on its knees and the committee took the decision to embark on a cult section. The setup of this section of the club was almost single-handedly undertaken by Chris Atkinson and he must be a very proud man looking around him tonight at just how the club has grown and how successful the cults have become and the wonderful talent that we and the wonderful and the, and, and the wonderful talent that we have nurtured. As we moved on and developed our cult section, not only did we find some really talented cricketers, but also a new stream of talented and enthusiastic people in terms of the parents. And ultimately, because of the continued success of the club all round, we decided to apply for ECB club mark status. And I guess that's the real reason why we can celebrate tonight. 
The two people who worked tirelessly to achieve Club Mark were Chris and Alan, Alice and Anthony. And I think they deserve a huge round of applause. <laughs> Within this process, we also must recognise the contributions of Rob Adams and Mick Hickford. <laughs> so, achieving Club Mark was one thing, using it to our advantage was the next, and through the talent and skills of Chris Anthony and his fundraising, this has enabled to get this facility built. So again, thanks to Chris, but also to the people who gave us the funding to complete this project, namely... Namely, the Lord's Taverners, hey. Hey. Well done. Well done. Sport England, yes, sir. Well done. and Play Sport London. I would also like. I would also like to. I would also like to thank Derek Underwood and his organisation for the support and a fantastic execution of the project and also to Mick Hickford for his role in appointing and managing this project. Thanks also to the KCB and also to John Palmer of Lewisham Council. Who, <laughs> who helped Chris in the early days of the cult setup, and we as a club have developed a real partnership with Lewisham to enhance the playing of cricket in this area. And we are recognised as a Lewisham club, a Lewisham focus club. More thanks to Alison for arranging this event and to Howard and Bill for supplying the food. And I have to say a thank you to Margaret for tying on all the balloons. <laughs> Let's cut. Let's do it. Right. Yeah, yep. you ready? Good. Yep. Yep. words. I now declare these nets open. <laughs> When you were a young man, how important were nets to, to your progression? Very important. Uh, I was, when I was about 13, I had an elder brother who was 16. My father built us a cricket net in the back garden. And we had concrete and we put a coconut matting on it and we, and we played. And I spent hours out down, in the, down the bottom of the garden bowling and bowling. And um, it, was, um, it, was, it was very important to my game at that time. And what do you hope the, the kids here will get out of it? I hope it encourages them to play, I hope it encourages them to become better and uh, I hope it encourages them to have a lot of fun playing cricket, make lots of friends and, and enjoy playing the greatest game in the world. You mentioned about getting 16 ducks, That's, uh, what was the worst of those? Uh, there were, I, I got too many, I, I try to forget them. <laughs> um, I got 16 ducks as you say, um, I've, I think... Um, in my second test match, I bagged a pair, which didn't help me. I got naught each, each inning, so that was a bit hard to take. Uh, Any of them goldens? Um, I've got many goldens. I've, I've, I've achieved the ultimate. I've got, I've got a golden pair. I've got a, two golden ducks in a day, and the second one was the third one of a hat-trick. So that, and that was against South Africa in 1965. So, hence I'm patron of the primary club, which is a, a club that um, when people get out first ball, they, they join this club. So. You were you were much more famous for taking wickets. Uh, what was the f most? What was your favourite wicket that you took, and uh, why was that? Gosh, I mean, there was. Um, um, I took 297 Test wickets in the 86 Test matches that I played, and I think probably the most meaningful one, and a very important one at the time, was there was a player that to me was the best player in the world and I was in awe of him and I had to, to bowl at him a lot in my very early days and it was in his last test match um, and I dismissed Gary Sobers for the first time and I think it was about one for 350 I should think but, uh, <laughs> in the tally of wickets and runs so um, he was to me far and away the best player you know, at that time in the world What would you say to young people who perhaps haven't played cricket or think cricket's not for them, and uh, now we've got these facilities here, would you recommend that anybody gives it a try? Well, I, I was saying earlier, I was discussing um, the situation, and, you know, if you've got a nucleus here of 80, 90 youngsters who come here anyway, I mean, the gospel will be spread, 
and what will happen is they'll turn to their friend and say, oh, we've got a great facility up at the club now, why don't you come up and practice with us on a Wednesday or a Thursday or whatever. And what will happen is that there will be an influx here at the club for youngsters and their, their mates will encourage them to go and encourage them to play and hopefully they will derive a great deal of fun and pressure out of the game. And that's what we're looking at, is, is, is fun and meaning and meeting people and getting to know people. And the social side of cricket is, is, is very important and I've been very lucky, made a lot of friends. You said you played uh, Catford and Cyphers. Do you remember any of those games? Do you remember it's getting anybody so out? so long ago, but I remember there was a man that played for, 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 for Cyphers and we're talking... 50 years ago, there was a man who, who played for, for Cyphers by the name of Ted Purnell, his name was. And people, old people like me will remember him, I'm sure. And he was a very graceful six foot four man. He came in and two or three times against Beckenham and Payne's Grammar School, as it was then. It's now Langley Park. This man got, got 50 three times. And really elegant player, beautiful player. And, uh, and, and he lived in my memory as this is a, an unbelievably unbelievable player when I was about 13, 14. Um, and, um, yeah, it's funny, little things like that, but I remember his name and was, was in awe of him. Well, thank you very much for coming back and seeing us. Well, today. it's lovely to be back at the club. It's, it's lovely to see it thriving. And I just hope that the club goes from success to, set, to, to success, from success to success. Thanks very much. Okay.